Hey guys, welcome back to Scope Please the Walking Dead. So, I was just planning to make a small tutorial on how to get enough trainers in the new module. So, if you want to level up your characters or if you want to win those level up tournaments, the ones that keep cropping up, solo level up as well as faction level up, so you need a lot of trainers. Now, in the new format, it's very easy to get trainers. All you need for that is a few things. Make sure you have enough. If you go into offers, you can see this. Make sure you have enough gear. So specifically, you need the wrinkled shirt, work gloves. So these two will help you get as many trainers as you want. So let's get on with it. So if you go to your training center, if you go to your training grounds, so the key is to train two stars. Because you can convert the two, you can convert the two stars into the base level trainers. So if you go to the survival courses, you can see the first four: weapons training, military training, strategic, and tactical. These give you basically uncommon characters. So uncommon characters are two stars. So when you have the two star characters, you straight away go to trainer conversion. Filter only the two stars. Select all and convert. So then you have bow, which is two stars. So if you want more bow, all you need to do is go ahead and train them. So I can train 18, 19 of them right now. So let me go ahead and train all 19. Yes. So now I don't have enough survivors. I need to clear stages. So this is the real trick. So go to clear stages. Now the last stage, sanctuary. So go into the stage eight of sanctuary. So you have tokens, so I hope you have tokens, so you need tokens for this. So normally I use a bronze or a silver salary, that's why I've gotten down from over a thousand tokens to now I'm 46 and 45. So let's try this, so collect rewards straight away. So I've got 40 and 16, 56 survivors, try again, do this about 4 times when you have an empty slot. Yes. So once you've done it four times, you should have enough to train about 50. So let's go back to the training ground. Now I like to train them in batches of 30 because I usually log in about every once in uh, five or six hours. So 30 will give me roughly six hours. Yeah, there we are. So 30. Now I go to the previous, I collect the remaining ones. I train again. About 28. Let me just collect these ones as well. Once you have this going, each time you log in, you should have easily 30 35 characters from each training ground. So you have maximum of four training grounds. So that gives you easily 120 or 130 of them. So that's just trainers which you can use straight away. Okay, so here we are. So let's get back to getting the survivors. Yep. So I'm just going to use my world energy refills. Yep. Here we are one, two, three, and four. Yep, my survival is full. So usually survival houses get full with four. And that's 30 there. And the third house. 30. And then the fourth house again, 30. Now I have four left, so let me make it 31 as a round figure. And spread them out. Yes. So it's gonna take six hours for these to train. That's good. I'll be back after six hours to collect them. So now I go to train a conversion. All the two star survivors that I have trained so far. Let me convert them. Yep. Ha. Huh. So I already have the maximum limit of 250 two star trainers. That's a bow. So these are the two stars, two star characters which I have in reserve. Let me see if I have any three star ones. Oh, only Gabe. Yeah, convert him. I don't use two or three stars and four stars 
all the copies so I filter by four star and then I sort by name so you have the whole list so I just look for duplicates now there's Carlos there he's a duplicate let's take him hmm any other duplicates yeah Dwight will duplicate if you look closely it's exactly the same Eugene is a duplicate yes hmm any more any more any more Molly oh I've already trained her to a tire 3 so I don't want to let her go just yet Rod is a duplicate Sherry is also in tire 3 and 4 so I'll hold on to her same for Valerie, same for Vicky. Yep, I think that's four, so convert four. Okay, so now we go on to the roster. So before you go to the roster, make sure you have full food. Your food stocks should be full. So easiest way is to go to the supply depot, the gear markers, and use the gear markers to get food, or you can sell. So go to sell and go to gear and look at. Uh, all these items and most of these items are in their thousands or ten thousands so the advice is to keep about 500 in reserve and sell the remaining for whatever food you require so I love to sell these running shoes they give you a lot of food and I don't really need 14,000 so keep a close watch now I have 1.9 million food my max food reserves are 2.7 million so roughly about 800,000 should do, yeah. There we are. Cell selected. Oh, I will not receive 68,000. So let me remove a few. Yep, there we are. Sound fine and good enough. Yep, now go to your roster. Filter. Now remember, you get the maximum points for the tire fours. And of course, if it's a five star or a six star, you get even even higher time points. So let me go to my five star ascendables. I always try and upgrade my ascendables first. So are there any new ascendables to upgrade? There's Nick. I have another Nick who's close to getting upgraded. So I'll come back to that. I'll circle back. Hmm. Mateo. Yes, I have two Mateos whom I need to upgrade. The other ones here. Yes. So let me upgrade the tire three Mateo first. Yep, so as you can see, I have 250 bows. So let me start using them up. That's great. Now, usually, I'm too lazy to do the whole thing again. So let me just straight away upgrade him from here and use the gear tokens. Yep, and this one now he's gonna be tired. Four. That's where all the points are. So I need all these items to get tire 4. I have them in my inventory, but huh, until Scopely upgrades the way we choose stuff from the inventory, it's going to take a really long time. And what do I need? I need a topographic map, I need a belt with a holster, army walkie talkie, and a school bag. Hmm. So go to your league store, and you have all these things right there. So that's a topographic map. I usually add max. I have enough points for that. Take that. Belt with holster. Okay. Honey walkie talkie max. Nice cool bag. So that leaves only the belt with holster. Let me quickly nip over to my inventory this is the time consuming part because you need to check which of your boxes have them and you got tons of boxes if you've played for as long as I have it's very very cumbersome to actually find the reward that you need there yeah belt is first I need three of that and add to that for some strange reason if you choose more than a few boxes the locations just reset 
Yeah, I think we have enough for Mateo. Let's try Mateo. Mateo, where are you? Here you are. Upgrade and upgrade. Yep. So now we get the real points. So, yeah, go for the max. So you can see 273,000 points. Now, if he was a six star, it would have been a humongous load of points straight away. But as it is, not too bad. Let me show you what happens to the six stars. So normally when I get them to tie four, or if they are six star and they are tie four, I start doing this. So let me see. There was one tie four, and now you want to upgrade. Yeah, I think we were somebody close by. Hmm. Rosita is one of my favorites, but now I think we'll get in first. So now I have saved up all my regular trainers. So we got a baby, I got 109 Benedicts and 10 Bernadettes. So let's see what happens with Bernadettes. Hmm, no, I don't want to waste Bernadette. 9 of oh. Get around to 100, 8, yep, 15, and 50. Yeah. So you get 621 points because he's entire 4. And if you're feeling really adventurous, you can probably get a few more benedicts in let's say 10 or 20 okay. yeah there we are another 600,000 points and I think we maxed it out. Yep. <clears throat> so as you can see now, if you have enough rings, if you have enough veteran rings, that's the easiest way to get extra points. You get 22,500 points for every six star S class or any regular ones that you promote. So let's see what happens to my overall level up ranking. Yeah, I'm at two million points. Okay, so I'll circle back to that when I have enough trainers again. So, thanks for watching. I hope it was instructive.